We all know sharing is caring. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my knowledge about the Xamarin Essentials Share APIs, which allows you to share images or video clips or whatever, basically, to other applications like Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. So come check it out. Whoosh. Here we are in Visual Studio for Mac 2019. Um, on the left, you can see a file new Xamarin Forms application. Well, not entirely file new um, because I updated the NuGet packages on it, the NuGet packages for Xamarin Forms and Xamarin Essentials as well. On the right, you can see it running on the Android emulator. Um, so let me quickly first just update the title right here as we always do in my videos. So let's make this share sample. It's as easy as that, share sample. And whenever I save that, you can see on the right with XAML hot reload, it will reload automatically in your running app. Works with the Android emulator, Android physical device, iOS simulator, and iOS physical device as well. So that is pretty amazing. Now, what this is all about is going to be sharing um, text or even files. So that's probably going to be images mostly, right? Um, through kind of like the share pane in um, iOS, Android, and you can also use this for UWP. So I'm showing this on Android, but all this code also works on iOS and UWP. Um, there are no special permissions required, except, you know, if you're going to do this on iOS um, and maybe also for Android, um, go check that out in the documentation link down in the video description below um, is if you're going to access like the, the, the image gallery, then you might need permissions for that. But for the sharing itself, um, you don't need any special permissions. So let's see how to actually do this. I'm going to remove all the labels right here. We don't need those. And I'm going to add a simple button back here and let's Let's call this um, share text first. And I'm going to add a clicked handler with a new event handler. So whenever I save this, also the button shows up in the UI, which is not going to work until I um, um, restart this application because you know it, it reloads the XAML, but not um, the code yet that is coming. Um, so let's go over to our main page XAML CS. I got that open already here, and we can see this button clicked handler is generated for us. So that's Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do first here at the top is um, add the using Xamarin.essentials. Um, actually, showing you all this, this also works for .NET MAUI, um, just where you see Xamarin Essentials, um, replace that with Microsoft.MAUI.essentials, and all the APIs will be exactly the same. So this is very cool. This will also work in .NET MAUI. You are prepared for the future with this API. Um, so we've got that in place using Xamarin Essentials, and now I can just go in here and say share dot request async. So we are going to request a share. That's how it works on the OS level. Um, and whenever we do that, you can see we got a couple of overloads here. So we got one for the share file request. So apparently that is something um, a share file request is an object that we can put in here with some extra details on uh, the file that we want to share. Uh, we also have share multiple files requests. So we can share multiple files at once. Uh, we also have a shared text request. And I think we have some short hands for that, where we just put in a string um, and a string and a title to just share some text with that as well. Um, so let's first look at the text one because I named the button share text. So we need to look at the text one first. Um, and let's do a new share text request. And let's see what kind of properties that has. So it has the presentation source bounds. You should check the documentation for that. I'm not going to go over that in this video very extensively because this has to do with how you can show the um, pop up, but very specific to iPad OS. So on iOS, but for iPads, um, you can specify where this share pop up has to be shown in your UI, uh, which gives you a lot of flexibility. But um, you know, it, it's a very specific use case. So I'm going to skip over that for for now. Um, and we have a subject, a text, a title and a URI. So I think those pretty much speak for themselves. You have a subject, what is this sharing text all about the text that you actually want to share the title. So the title and the subject are kind of like the same. Um, again, you should check the documentation because this is kind of a difference per OS how this is implemented. Um, so you want to check out like I think for some OSs, the subject or the title is ignored entirely. Um, 
So go check out um, whatever is going on there and the URI so we can set a valid URI that we can share as well. Um, so let's just set a couple of these properties and the subject is going to be, I don't know, something that is very top of mind, something like, oh, let's make it Gerald's YouTube. Maybe that is something that you want to share. Um, and let's make it the text. Um, please subscribe. All right, all right, maybe that's something that you want to do. Um, the title, let's make the title the same as the subject. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure which is going to show up on Android, but let's just make it this and the URI. Of course, you're watching it right now. So that's going to be HTTPS, youtube.com slash Gerald Verslaus. There we go. Um, now this is async, so if we want to do this right, well, not entirely right because we shouldn't do async void, but for you know these event handlers, we have to do that. So let's make this await, and now this should show up nicely. So whenever we, actually, let me just stop and rerun this so we can um, talk while we're waiting here. So whenever we do this, what I expect to happen is see this button, and whenever I click it, it will show that little share pane coming up. Um, I think on Android and iOS, it's kind of looks very similar. Um, and you can select the app that you want to share to. So in this case, I'm running the Android emulator, which doesn't have a lot of apps installed. Um, but you know, it's you can share it to like the, the messaging app. So the, the text messaging, um, the, the stock messaging app that you can do, we'll see that in a little bit. Um, but typically what you would do is probably share it to social media. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, one of those. Um, and you can, I'm going to show you a little bit later how to pick an image and actually share that to um, one of those social media app so that's really cool so this is just the OS um, sharing thing that I'm going to show you so whenever a user has an app in that um, they can share their content with that app that's pretty crazy right um, with just this well if you if you take it all out then it can be one line of code but let's say just a few lines of code right um, Okay, so I got the app back up here and um, let's click that share text button. So whenever I do, you can see that pane is coming up. Um, like I said, this is the emulator, but you can already here see, please subscribe with the URI. Um, and I can copy that from right here. So that is, you know, sharing is also just copying that thing. Uh, but I can also select here Bluetooth or safe to drive or select messages or select Gmail. Um, so let's just select messages right here. And it's going to this this texting app. I've been done a little testing uh, before. So I entered some numbers here, which should be a valid phone number for the place that you're living in. But that's why it's recommending me this conversation that I already have. So let's just click that one. And whenever I do, you can see that it fills in automatically um, here this please subscribe and um, it, it adds that link. So this is how we can share the text with the default messaging app now again like I said this doesn't look very pretty because um, you know this is just a stock app if you're sharing this to Instagram or whatever um, this is going to look much much nicer but this is just for text and I think the thing that is interesting to most people is going to be images or other files so let's go check that out um, let's go actually go back to our main page .xaml, and I'm just going to copy this button right here and I'm going to say share image so I'm going to show this for an image, um, but this works for any kind of file. So if you have a PDF file or an XLL, so to the Excel files, or I don't know, uh, the, the whatever file you can come up with, um, you can share that with this as well. Um, but you know, probably videos and images are going to be like top of mind for you. Um, so let's add that extra button right here. And then whenever I go back to the XAML CS, we should have another um, button handler here. So let me just copy this one too and get that in here and also add the async. So now we're all set up. We got two buttons. Let me actually, did it work while the app is not in focus? Does that even work like this as well? Did it hot reload? Oh my gosh, it did. That's amazing. So share image, the button is here. We need to stop and restart the application in a little bit to actually make it work. Um, but it's right here. So if you remember from a minute ago, we can use this exact same request async thing here. Uh, but now what we can say is say new um, file share. No, what was it? 
share file there it was share file request um, or you have to share multiple files request right um, and I think that will just have an array of files um, so I'm just gonna stick with the one file for now but I think the multiple files will be a nice assignment for you to try that out um, I don't think it's much more complicated than one file it will just have a collection of files um, so let's just do this one and I think the properties on this is going to be well pretty similar I was gonna say but not as much it's just having a title and a file it's still going to have a title so let's make that title the same thing which is going to be Gerald's YouTube because I still want to convince you to give me that subscribe um, and of course we want to have a file now this is going to have be a new share file and if we look at the share file that is an object that comes from Xamarin Essentials as well um, and if we look at that we can um, create a new instance with a file base file and what is really cool if you've been using Xamarin Essentials and you've been doing more things with files then all those files inherit from file base um, so if you've been using it, that's what we're going to use here, the um, Xamarin Essentials Media Picker. Um, check out the video for that. It should pop up on your screen right now or down below in the video description. Um, you can just use that Media Picker and pick a image from the gallery and use that without any complicated stuff. Use that right here in the share file and you can combine those two APIs and share your files really, really easy. So that is what is very cool. Now, of course, you can also you know download a file from somewhere write that to um, the file system on your device and share it from there you can generate files if that's what you want um, if you check out the official documentation it will actually just write a text file in in the caching folder and share that so there's all kinds of things that you can do here but I'm going to show you um, I think one of the most common use cases where you pick a file from the gallery and share that to another app um, so what are the other overloads here? You can specify the full path and you can specify the full path and the content type. Um, so the content type is the MIME type, um, which is inferred automatically by Xamarin Essentials. But um, you know, if it gets it wrong or you want to have a MIME type that is maybe not very common, then you can specify it yourself here as well. Um, so I'm going to park this for a little bit right here. And what I'm going to say is var image is a weight. And now I'm going to say media picker dot um, pick photo async. So you can also do video or you can capture video, capture photo. You can all do that here. Go check it out in the video about the media picker. I'm just going to do pick photo async right here uh, without any options. And I'm going to, you know, add some code here if image is null then we're going to return because then maybe the user canceled or whatnot and we don't want to crash our application. Um, and what is now really cool, I've mentioned cool, cool, cool a few times now because it's so cool. Um, you can say share request async, file is new share file and I can just put the image in here. That's it. That's all I need to do to combine the media picker with the share APIs. And now I can pick an image and share that with another app. So let's just stop and restart this thing and see this thing actually in action. So I'm just now going to um, um, click on that second button. It will pop up the um, gallery app. I think on Android, you have the possibility to specify your own gallery app, or it will just open some kind of file picker that you want. Um, and I can open that same share pane and it will share the image together with everything that I've specified here. So let me just click that share image and it's going to open this picker right here. And oh, oh, that's convenient, that's convenient. There is an image right here that says, please subscribe to my channel. I always have that handy, so um, that's great. And whenever I pick that, you can see it comes up with that same share pane and um, I can still choose to do drive and maps and messages. And again, I can't tell you this enough. If there were more options on this emulator, there would be more options in this pane as well. So let's select the messages again and select that same conversation. And when we do that now, you can see that it will add that image for us. And I think I can go in here and I can edit it if that's what you want. Um, and it will add that back to this message and I can add some text here and then I can send it to whoever I want to. Um, so you can also send this to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the things here. And that is how you can share text, files, images, whatever you want through the Examine Essentials share APIs. 
So be honest, did you think it was gonna be this simple to actually share content from your app to other applications? I'll go first, I didn't think it was gonna be this easy. And you know, what I really like is that um, these APIs are all in Xamarin Essential, so it shares that file object across all the APIs. You can use the media picker and that exact same object, you can put it in the share APIs and share it without transforming the object, mapping all the properties and doing that kind of hard stuff. Um, that is what makes a library like Xamarin Essential so powerful and together with Xamarin Forms, it's just a match made in heaven. So that's really cool. As always, please let me know if you have any questions, suggestions, or problems down in the comments below. Um, as always, there is a repository attached to this video with all the sample code that you can see here. Um, a lot of people didn't seem to know that, so I'm just calling it out right now. And for the rest, thank you so much for watching. Again, one of my videos, please click that like button if you've actually liked this video. And I think I dropped some subtle hints that you might want to subscribe to my channel. So if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button, ding that little bell so you'll be notified of new content automatically and you don't have to go out and search for it. It will just be there on your screen. And for the rest, keep coding.